Greetings, my friends. Doomcock here with the announcement of an exciting new feature on my channel, Super Thanks. YouTube has finally given me access to this feature, which gives you guys another way to support my channel by sending what is essentially a super chat to individual videos that you particularly enjoy. Here's how it works. Beneath each video now, next to the like and dislike buttons, you will find a heart-shaped button named Super Thanks. When you click on the Super Thanks button, you can make a donation to support the channel in various amounts. And when you click the button, not only do you receive a special thank you animation, but best of all, you get to write a special highlighted comment in the comments section of that video. And I promise you that moving forward, just as I reply to every single super chat in my live streams, I will personally reply to every super thanks comment in the comments section of videos moving forward. Yes, my friends, I will reply to every single super thanks in the comments section of my videos starting today. This is a great way to communicate with me, to support individual videos that you enjoy, and to support this channel. So please, give it a try today if you like this video, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for supporting my efforts to save pop culture. Enjoy the video, and stay angry. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, broadcasting from my hidden base at the center of the Earth, and I am here today to share with you a persistent rumor I started hearing about a month ago about a new top-secret series in development at Lucasfilm. The reason why this series is top secret is something I will disclose here in just a few minutes, so bear with me as I break this down. I held off on reporting about this development for some time now, and I've had my Hollywood spies trying desperately to learn more about this purported series. But tellingly, there is very little Star Wars news leaking out of Lucasfilm these days. They're aware that they screwed the space pooch on Book of Boba Fett with a lackluster final episode that disgusted a great deal of the fandom. They're hopeful but uncertain as to how the Kenobi series will perform, and they're desperate these days because subscribers are fleeing Disney Plus at alarming rates. Is that because of the Reimagine Tomorrow debacle, do you think? Parents finding out that Disney has a not-at-all-secret gay agenda to add queerness to every bit of Disney programming they can squeeze it into? Pun intended? That is definitely a factor, Harvey. Parents who had faith that Disney content was family-friendly, not political, and not controversial, had their faith in Disney shattered when they learned that their kids were unwitting conscripts in the war to transform the world into Liberace's closet and then bring it out of the closet. Most of them are not paying a monthly fee to send their kids to the RuPaul Academy of Gender Study and Use Feather Boa Emporium. That's a fact. It is also a fact that a lot of the programming on Disney Plus is poor to lackluster, crap like Hawkeye and Moon Knight and a bunch of other failed movies like Turning Red, a kid's movie about menstruation, if you can believe that. It's a shit show at Disney right now, folks. Florida has put the whammy on Disney World, the LGBTQ plus community is revolting inside the company, the streaming wars are heating up, it is an unhappy time in the happiest place on earth, folks. Desperation is setting in and out of that desperation comes a Hail Mary Pass, a top secret Darth Vader TV series. That's one hell of a Hail Mary, dude. For being a bad guy, Darth Vader is probably the most loved, or at least most fascinating, character in the Star Wars universe. That's the series I'd most want to see, and I bet a lot of Star Wars fans feel exactly the same way. <laughs> That's a safe bet, Harvey. The best part of Rogue One was the final scene, where Vader tears through the rebels trying to get to Princess Leia's ship before she can escape, and even Disney can't help but know that. Vader is probably the most iconic character in Star Wars of all time. They've been beating the bushes for great characters to make TV shows of, including Boba Fett and now Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was probably inevitable that someone at Lucasfilm would realize, hey, why are we screwing around with Boba Fett when we could make a Darth Vader series? That's the good news. And what's the bad news? 
they're making a Darth Vader series. That is also the bad news. You see, fans were hopeful and excited when it was announced that they were making a Boba Fett series, but look at what they did to Boba Fett. They stripped him of his mystique, he spent a lot of time sleeping in a Bacta tank in his underwear, his Indian name was Dances with Sand People, he let a Rodian give him shit, he let a bunch of stupid mods on Vespas give him shit, he fought against his enemies riding on a Rancor instead of blowing them all to hell in Slave 1 because it would, I don't know, look cooler, he wanted to be Crime Lord of Tatooine without committing any crimes, in short. They Disney-fied the hell out of Boba Fett and stripped him of any and all badassery. Now the question is, will they do the same to Vader on his TV show? Well, what's this show about, man? Can you give us some details? Details are scant and hard to come by, Harvey. The reason I haven't done any Star Wars rumor videos lately is because there aren't a lot of Star Wars rumors out there. Under Siege, Disney has circled the wagons and very little is getting out these days, but I can tell you this much. Apparently, again out of desperation, the Vader series will be inspired by at the very least, or based on at the very most, the Dark Horse comic book series. Looks like Lucasfilm is opposed to mining the EU for Star Wars stories until of course their own mine runs dry, at which point they say, hey look, some comics! Let's read them and get some ideas! So the series, apparently, will involve Darth Vader hunting down Jedi who are in hiding following Order 66, obsessing about Obi-Wan Kenobi whom he blames for killing Padme. Yes, Vader is still that delusional, but being the main course at a barbecue will do things to a man. And investigating an outside threat, some other menace to the burgeoning empire as yet unseen. But again, details are extremely hard to come by these days because they have locked things down so severely at Star Wars, and therein lies the rub. I mean, if they treat Darth Vader as badly as they treated Boba Fett, this series could be just awful. Will we get badass Darth Vader hunting down Jedi across the galaxy? Or will we get sad Buddy Vader, who sits around in his meditation pod on Mustafar, rubbing liniment on his stumps, making himself coffee that he sips through a straw stuck through his mouth grate, muttering about how much he hates sand, and dancing around a fire with Ugnots. Vader is thinking about transitioning into Sheila Vader. He brightens up his castle on Mustafar with rainbow flags and space horses trained to gallop on the outside of Star Destroyers, leaving farts of glitter dust in the air. These are all terrible possibilities, given how bad Boba Fett was, but I suspect they've learned their lesson and that this Top Secret Vader series may well be outstanding if indeed this rumor is true. Well, why is this Vader series top secret then? Isn't the Vader series kind of like the Doomsday Weapon in Doctor Strangelove? What's the point of keeping a Doomsday Weapon a secret if the whole point is to scare your enemies and threaten to use it? If Disney Plus is having a hard time, then what the hell is the point of keeping the Vader series top secret? From what I've been told, Harvey, they are keeping the Vader series tightly under wraps and top secret because Given all of Disney's problems, they need a huge win, and so they're waiting for the optimal time to unveil this series to generate the maximum amount of excitement and new coverage and enthusiasm. My sources told me originally about a month ago that this Vader series was going to be their huge surprise announcement at Star Wars Celebration 2022. This was planned to be the big bit of news that would drive coverage and send bloggers and YouTubers scurrying to cover it. But that was before the big video leaks about Disney's not at all secret gay agenda, before the Florida kerfuffle, and before outraged parents went into revolt and so on and so forth. In light of these developments, I think the intended reveal of the Vader series at Star Wars Celebration 2022 is somewhat in doubt. I suspect that Disney wants to see how well the Kenobi series plays before they commit to announcing the Vader series at Star Wars Celebration. They'll want to look at the reviews, look at if Kenobi boosts the sagging subscriptions at Disney Plus, 
Look to see if a month from now, which is roughly when Star Wars Celebration will occur, if all the negative backlash around the Reimagine Tomorrow leaked gay videos has subsided. I don't think it will, man. I don't think a negative perception that deep just wears off. I think the disclosure that Disney Plus is a political platform rather than family-friendly entertainment was so shocking for normies that it lodged deep, man. Trust betrayed is trust lost, Doomcock. Be that as it may, Harvey, hope springs eternal in the Magic Kingdom, and I'm sure the executives there are hoping and praying that the short attention span of the American public will make them forget about Disney's not-at-all-secret gay agenda. But regardless, Disney feels it needs something really big to change the conversation, and this Vader series could be exactly what the doctor prescribed. If it's badass Vader hunting Jedi remnants, and not Vader applying burn cream to his stumps, muttering about hating sand, and crying over his Padme poster that he bought at Spencer's way back in the day when malls were a thing. Back when he was Darth Maul? Get it? No. <laughs> you sick little monkey. Disney may still go ahead with the announcement that Star Wars Celebration is planned, or they may hold the announcement until the heat over Reimagined Tomorrow dies down, if it ever does. But one thing is certain, there is no show possible that would excite fans more than a Darth Vader series. I hope this rumor is true. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 